Texan Global School Absolute Degree and Relative Degree of a Polynomial The absolute degree is the maximum value or degree of all the polynomial terms. It is calculated in each algebraic term by adding the exponents of each of the variables. The highest number of all the values obtained from each algebraic term will be the absolute degree of the entire polynomial. It should be noted that neither the numerical coefficients of each term nor the independent term affect the absolute degree. Let's look at the first example. Given the following polynomial, calculate its absolute degree. Remember that those variables in which the exponent is not shown indicate that the exponent value is 1. We highlight them in red to make it easier to calculate each term by adding the exponents. After adding the exponents separately, we can see that the maximum value is equal to 4. We conclude then that the absolute degree of this polynomial is 4. In this second example, we will also highlight those exponents of degree 1. Remember that the independent term does not affect the absolute degree since it lacks variables. However, by laws of exponents where a raised to 0 is equal to 1, we can represent all variables of the independent term with this law. This confirms that the independent term does not affect the absolute degree of the polynomial. Once the polynomial is arranged, we add the exponents of each term we can see that the maximum value is 11. Therefore, the absolute degree of this polynomial is 11. On the other hand, the relative degree is the exponent of the highest value or degree in a variable among all the polynomial terms. It is then calculated in each variable of the polynomial. We identify the highest value of the exponents of each variable, which will be the degree relative to that literal. Again, we highlight that neither the numerical coefficients of each term nor the independent term affect the relative degree. In this first example, we will calculate the relative degree of the polynomial by highlighting those variables in which the exponent is not shown with a value of 1. In this way, we can see that the relative degree in the variable x is 2, and in y, it is 3 since they are the exponents with the highest value. In this second example, we also highlight the variables with exponent 1 and use the same law of exponents to highlight the variables of the independent term, which will not affect the value of the relative degree. Then, we can see that the relative degree in the variable a is 7 since it is the highest degree of all the terms. The relative degree in variable b is 3, and the relative degree in variable c is 8. Copyright 2021 all rights reserved to Texan Global School, LLC. www.texanglobalschool.com